Ducky! Yes. <laughs> Why, guy? How are you, bro? Good, brother. Good. Very yeah, good. It's, uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, it has been. Definitely. Missed it. Missed you too. <laughs> <laughs> no, how, uh, how, how are things going uh, in your life? Uh, things are going really well, thanks. Um, you know, it's life. So, you know, you can't, can't really... Yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 things have been going well. Yeah, things are going well. Things, things, are, are, well. things are steady. Things are good. Things are steady. Um, yeah, I think everything's going to go like good weather now, you know. Great weather. Great, great weather, weather up here in Brisbane. So Wonderful. Yeah, well, you know, people have been wondering, you know, there's, there's three Papua New Guineans in this podcast. So, oh, yeah. I mean, everyone... The third, the third man is here. Finally, we, we've got him on, uh, and on for the remainder of the the time we stay here. So, look, just want to give them uh, a bit of background about yourself, and you know, take them back to the beginning, where it all started, and how you sort of came to be. Yeah, well, so everyone, my name is Charles Tanakanai. Uh, you know, I was born in Papua New Guinea in a town called um, Tabubil in Western Province. Uh, it's a little mining town uh, in Western Province, sorry. Um, yeah, so, yeah, born there. Uh, mom's from Karuku in Central Province. Dad's from East New Britain. Um, so, good mix. Yeah, skill ah. mix. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, nah, it's been it's been good. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Where did you sort of you were born in Tabubil, and then so born in Tabubil um, until I was about ten years old. Uh, sorry, no, actually, I wasn't even. <laughs> I was born. I was born. <laughs> I was born in Tabubil. Um, obviously, like you know, did my primary schooling there. Um, you know. Went to a good school up in up in the town there. You know, exposed to a lot of you know different yeah. uh, different you know people from different parts of the world. And there were lots of actually lots of guys we know now. They also were from Tabubil. Like. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people. Well, if you know, if you end up watching this podcast, you know, give us a little comment. Uh, if you went to primary school with me, um, obviously it's been a, a while. And here comes Jack Man, Mr. J Money. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, basically, born there, um, went to school there till about, uh, I think I was like, I think I was 12 or 13 years old, and then got shipped off to boarding school in Ley, and that's where, you know, met a couple of good friends who are still here, you know, still around in my life today. So. What, what, where did you go to school in Ley? Uh, Ley Coronation, so shout out to IA School in Ley. Um, Is that one of the, like... I don't know what you say, like one of the well-known schools in Leh or? Yeah, I'd say so, but there's, you know, there's a lot of other, other good schools in Leh as well. I heard um, Leh Inter. Yeah, Leh Inter's a good school. Um, yeah. You know, there's a, there's a lot of good schools. You know? yeah. Shout out to also like Bugendi, you know, Bumayong and all these all those other schools. Leh Sec is another great school. Um, but yeah, so I went to Leh Coronation, um, met a lot of, you know, met a lot of friends there, um, but then obviously had to move down to Brisbane. Uh, my mom got a job here, so I think I was like 14, I think 13 or 14 when we moved here. And then went to Naji College and that's where we sort of got acquainted. Yeah. And yeah, here I am today. Actually, uh, like fast forward, <laughs> we're here today. Fast forward, yeah, the rest is history. The rest is history. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, no, you said, you know, mom came down to work here and uh, you guys, you know, moved, picked up everything and came here to Brisbane and like, what, what was that like for you as like, you know, a 14 year old kid? Was, was it challenging or were you, you know, embracing the call to move here? Yeah, so, I mean, it was, so we moved here in 2009, but in tw uh, around like 2008, like we, we already knew that we were sort of moving here. I mean, it was just talk, but, you know, things happened so quickly. Um, I didn't even get to sort of process it properly. And we were like, 
you know, it's, as soon as as soon as we got back from, um, you know, I think it was term one um, of grade nine in Lay, and then you know we had to just rush the pack and just go to Port Moresby for a couple of weeks and then head here. So it was yeah really fast. Um, you know, I got got to like experience uh, like a new sort of culture and you know mm -hmm. from from what was going on in Leh to you know moving to Brisbane ah such a such a big big change such a big experience um, yeah something something I'd never sort of experienced before um, a bit culture shock but to be honest I was yeah I was kind of excited to get yeah. out of uh, like just a you know just to know that there's a, a bit of opportunity to you know do other things and yeah. obviously come to a good school and um, be around you know just that's like yeah knowing that there's a lot of opportunity out here so whether yeah. I've taken those opportunities I don't know <laughs> <laughs> nah but yeah nah, it definitely um, <clears throat> embrace the change so, yeah yeah um, yeah I don't, I don't know if my uh, my brother had the same experience, but oh yeah, yeah, it was a uh, it was kind of tough. Obviously, he was um, a little bit older than me. Yeah, he made some solid friends in yeah in Lay as well. So you know, it was a big big change for him as well. So uh, you know, we you know I, yeah, I think yeah. I think that'll be a, like a good question one day. You know, if he's ever around, we can bring him on the potty and we can uh, ask yeah. what it was like for him because yeah, he would have been a bit older and probably understood a bit more and yeah. knew, knew what was going on around him yeah definitely whereas you know we were we we came into it young so you know you're young so you don't really care about much you just sort of going with the flow definitely um yeah and then but i i can't pinpoint the exact moment when we met i i, I don't know if you can but it, my memory is so fucked up actually i think i i think i can just remember <laughs> i remember um so like I think it was my first, like, yeah, it was our first day when my brother came into school and then there was, like, assembly going on. And then I just remember going in and then um, there was a, you know, there was, I think it was Rupa or someone oh, sitting in the crowd and then he turned around. Big and, chest. Yeah, big chest, big muscly, uh, hula boy. <laughs> yeah, just turned around, gave me the thumbs up and, you know, it was good, obviously, like, you know, coming to a seeing a whole floor full of, you know, Australians and, yeah. you know, just like, what the hell, like, Fucking man, there's so, yeah. so many different people here, man, I've never seen it before, and obviously everyone wearing the same uniform, you know, white shirt, white and a tie, and like, you know, every other school was the same, like, similar, sort of, you know, real strict with uniforms, so that was a new thing for me as well, um, but yeah, just, just coming through, I remember assembly, and then I think it was afterwards, um, I was with... Uh, one of my our mates, Jeffrey Maravecca, walking up. Shout out to Jeffrey. So shout he, out Jeffrey. He follows on Instagram, actually. Yeah, yeah. So he he actually started on the same day. I just remember like shaking his hand when we walked in. So he was he, we started on the same day, and then we I just remember like going up to this little area called the Spirit Tunnel, and then oh. going on to like where they called it like Black Street. <laughs> <laughs> you were Black Street. Yeah. Yeah. If if you went to Naji during that time you knew Black Street. I, I'm pretty sure there's a little designated area. Yeah. Well, well well Black Street was so they call this one street Black Street at Naji because all the PNG boys used to sit there. Yeah. And it was before like the cafeteria, the boarding yeah. hall. Yeah. The boarding cafeteria. So like, you know, everyone had to walk through it but no one did because like all the PNG boys <laughs> would sit there and just like, and yeah, just laugh and giggle laugh. and. If you, if you wanted a place to just unwind and let your inner kanaka come out, <laughs> no, like, <laughs> no, like you, know, you know, just like let let loose and just yeah. like, yeah, I, I don't know what it was, but you know, shout out to the Torres Strait boys as well, the bros there. Yeah, they uh, they hang out there. They, a lot. they used to hang out, hang out there. there sorry. Um, the Polynesian the islanders had their own little fob tree, but yeah. like we'd always like sort of fob tree. Yeah, fob tree down okay. like somewhere near the on the grass somewhere. There was a tree there. All the Polynesian boys gathered there, yeah. and then there was this like walk the line ritual. Anyway, let's get back to when we were first. <laughs> but yeah, so we walked. I walked up and I, we were on Black Street, and then like, can you 
beep out some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember. I just remember. Um, no, no, we're not beeping. Oh, shit. stuff here. <laughs> so I just remember. Go all in. This is uncut, bro. Oh fuck. The rubber oh, dog yeah. style. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just remember like going in and then I just saw um, like Richard and Jeffrey. Were, like, they, they'd already been like, I don't know. You guys were like. Paying each other out, and yeah, because we were in no, O'Brien, throwing, dogs. yeah, they're throwing shade yeah. at each other, and all I just remember was, Can I cock my bar blue? I was like, What the fuck? That was harsh. When I turned out, I just saw this little fucking caracal guy, like, just chilling. Oh, that was me, yeah, that was you. Oh, what the fuck? And then I was like, What the fuck? fuck? I was like, Holy shit, what that's the fuck how you that? remember yeah. me. No, that's not how my first like. <laughs> Literally, I was like, what the fuck? Man? That's like, oh, yeah, I turned around and I saw Richard. Sorry, like, mom and dad, if you're watching. And <laughs> yeah, then, uh, <laughs> yeah, but like, I'm sure like Jeffrey had some pretty harsh things to say as well. So it was a bit of back and forth. But yeah, then after that, obviously, I think, um, yeah, then there was like rugby season. I think you played soccer and then athletics is where we really like, yeah, it was like term three, went from on this camp and then. Mm. You know, a lot of bullying and that kind of stuff. But like, <laughs> bullying, but like, you know, you know, you gotta. Yeah, we don't con- We don't condone any. Of we don't. We don't condone no, any. No bullying. Bullying is terrible, and it shouldn't be allowed in schools. Yeah. Yeah. But it did toughen us up. Yeah, and no, like at some but, stage. I mean, obviously, it does affect other people in different ways. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, bullying's a no go. Yeah. Um, awesome. But yeah, that's how we met. Wow! So yeah, uh, you had a triple K, yeah, flying, <laughs> flying from one side of the room, and then you looked at <laughs> there I was fucking just like with this little with this little mohawk, a little fucking cut, yeah. sixty kg Richard. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. yeah, those were the days. Yeah, and then obviously we we went to school, and yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I we we were both lucky enough to. Had the opportunity to play first fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that was probably one of the like proudest moments. I think still to this day, for me, yeah, it's too. probably up there. And sure. like to don the jersey with you that uh, churchy game. Yeah, that was awesome. Man. You know when we had like the that, that churchy team. Some of them like had repeated. I think it was like uh, Michael Gunn, oh, yeah. um, Digger McMillan. Monty Iwani was in there as well. Um, so they had a few, they had a really good team, like premiership winning team. But I mean, on that day, we just turned it on. It was the Jack Tuttle show. Oh, yeah. That um, was awesome. And yeah, everyone just clicked. Have you got highlights? Yeah, I do. I might throw them up. I'll throw, might, them, up I'll throw them up for yeah. you guys. No. Richie scored a I'll link put a try. I'll put the link uh, in the in the chat. Yeah, but, you even uh, set me up on, with a try that day. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I, they kicked it out. I caught yeah. it at full back. Okay. I dumb it to go one way, then came back because I knew Charles was on the left. Big switch play. Then it was just the, the winger came into me. I gave it to Charles and just fucking 50 meter sprint. Yeah, that was good to put it. But yeah, that's when I did my meniscus. Uh, Straight after that. That was the start of. The long issues, knee injuries. Um, but no, that was a yeah, that was a really good time. Um, and obviously, we just sort of kept in touch until now. Like going through uni, yeah. we went to uni at the same time with Jackman. Yeah, uh, I know. Last week on the podcast, we talked about <laughs> we talked about how we both plagiarized with yeah uh, oh, some Indian guy or something. I don't yeah, know. Harun. Harun. If Harun. You, if you ever watch this, bro, thanks for getting me through two different difficult uh, classes. He got yeah. us through a lot. Yeah, Diamond. and also sorry for you know yeah. getting that black strike on your name. Yeah. No, he actually no, he was fine. Because we like, copied. Yeah. 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 So. yeah fucking lucky. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. Anyway. So that that was you. Plagiarism. Go back to another, the other episode and have a listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was crazy times. Um, but I think. Yeah. That was just a, a little intro session just to, you know, give everyone an insight into, Charles's upbringing and life and his path and, sort of how he fits into, the uncle's 
Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll share this one with you guys and hopefully you enjoy um, and more to come. Peace out. Peace out, guys.